my name is Queen Santa Romero, and I'm here at the El Paso Art Museum doing my um, second assignment of videos at the El Paso Art Museum. <laughs> and I'll be doing it on this lovely piece of work that is in this new the Chipotle, um exhibit, and it is Carlos Almarez's uh, Mystery in the Park, and it's done as it says here on the label by Sarah Graff. This is going to be very interesting. Um, right away, it already like captured my attention with like the color and the the size of it is quite. It definitely does make you want to look at the entire thing um, all at once. So it's very interesting how he was able to capture that. This piece is 112 inches long, and it is two separate paintings. The lines here are very free. Um, you can tell here in the sky and in the water that he didn't really think about the reflection with the actual like trees or light or the air in the boats and the people. Um, most of this painting is implied, like this water bank right here, which is supposed to be um, land. But in reality, it is just the line. It does draw your attention to the fire or light coming from the city, which would actually be the focal point of this painting since it does draw you to this part. Um, the shading here isn't very um, specific or complicated, as well as the shapes here aren't very... Um, Actual. There are many implied shapes here in the lighting. These are like the triangles, and there are organic shapes with the people, the trees, as well as the clouds. If I were to look at the figure ground relationship, I would say that it does um, uh, contrast pretty well. Here, the trees would be my foreground, as well as the water and the bridge, while the buildings, the sky, and the trees in the background would be my background. Um, light here is very important as it does bring and guide you to the focal point over here in the city. It does, what I found very, very interesting was how the value changes as you move throughout the painting, as well as here in the palm, on the palm trees. The color here, uh, it involves mostly primary colors with the red, the blues, and slight hints of yellow, but it does also have your complementary colors. Um, the green and the purple, the red and the blues as well blend really well here in the water. Um, if I was to look at texture, it would be visual texture because we cannot actually touch it and feel what it really does in, in real life. Uh, most of this texture would actually be of experience because there is not a lot of detail in this painting. We can't really see what the palm trees or the water or the bridge would be made of. But we can assume that the trees feel like wood, the water like water, the bridge probably of some sort of stone. If I was to talk about the space, the background, we can tell that there are these trees. Um, here the green in the park as well as the city and the sky, while the foreground would be the palm trees, the bridge, the water, and the people. It is overlapping. These trees would be overlapping the rest of the park as well as the lights and um, the smaller trees as well. There is a slight hint of atmosphere perspective. As you can see, this, the buildings here are a little bit lighter than the rest of the painting. There is a uh, hint of unity with the palm trees, but the variety would be that each individual one is actually different compared to the others. Um, the scale um, is pretty accurate. It doesn't seem off in any way, but the proportions may be a little bit off because the people compared to the palm trees seem a little um, over the top. This is an abstract painting because we can tell that these are palm trees, this is water, these our buildings and lights and bridge, but because these this isn't really what um, palm trees and the water and the sky look like, it is abstract. It is a painting, it is two-dimensional, so um, it doesn't really pop out or have 
um, that would be the media of this painting. As I continue to walk around and observe everything, um, it's always interesting to come to the museum and see like the talent and um, abilities of all these hardworking people. Um, I do apologize that I'm quiet because there's a lot of people here and they seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my art project. Thank you for listening to me and paying attention. <laughs>